disregarded by a lot of travelers. Southern Laos can be a rewarding part of the country to explore. It offers some great scenic rides, underground rivers, towering waterfalls, ethnic diversity and ancient ruins. We are halfway to the Kanglor cave. We've been to Pakistan. This morning we found a great mechanic who helped us with the motorbike. Vietnamese guy. Really nice one, huh? Yeah, I was smart and awake. And this road we're driving to this cave, it's really beautiful. You see like milestone mountains everywhere. And this is one of the viewpoints. I'm kind of surprised that there is no one asking for money for the viewpoint. True. Yeah, last time they, they charged us for everything we had. Far fewer travelers venture here. And many of those who do tend to dash straight down from Ventiana to the southern hub of Pakse, with its Wat Phu complex and 4,000 islands to the south of it. But there is so much in between that is well worth exploring. Conglor Cave, considered to be one of South Asia's geological wonders. And there are reasons for that. This Karlst limestone cave is not an ordinary cave. In fact, it was formed by the Nam Nim Bun River, running through an entire mountain, sculpting the rocks along its way. It's hard to imagine how much time it took for Mother Nature to create this masterpiece. How was the cave? It was really nice. nice. It's really big. Okay. Here. Have fun. We are entering uh, Carlo Cave. We're almost ready. This is our guide. He will be driving us safely. It looks already good. It looks impressive already. Yes, we have with it strong current here as well, so it'll be good fun here. Okay, let's start. Feels like you are in the really expensive spa here. On the way through this beautiful seven kilometers long cave, you will be able to explore a bit on foot. It's a nice and easy walk on your own. Colored lights, donated by a French organization, created a dramatic light show, bouncing off the shadows. Sometimes even a bit too much. Yeah, so this was the first stop we had. Very gentle light here. Because probably we are too heavy and uh, the guy needs to push the boat. Oh, the water is too low. Oh, I don't feel two. heavy today. Small section, very small section. Yeah, but we touched maybe three times already the ground, so it's shallow here. The river passage through the cave is also used by locals for transporting goods and connecting town of Nam Thone. But traffic or overcrowding on the inside was never a problem, or at least it was never reported. If you visit yep. the cave at the time of harvest, there will be a smell of freshly harvested tobacco through the cave. What do you think about the interior of the cave? I just found it, yeah. Nature never stops surprising. Yes, you think like, wow, this was nice, but then the next day you see something better even. Once you end up on the other side of the cave, another beautiful landscape appears. We weren't expecting steep milestone mountains surrounding us. Just imagine this change. After adrenaline ride, 
you start an almost meditational cruise along this slow and sleepy river. At our second stop, it almost felt like the time was paused. Need some skills here as the guy. Yeah, Not the first day here. Probably he has more fun than we do. So money well spent? Uh, definitely, yeah. I would say so. Quite an experience because it's quite shallow. Uh, the guy have to maneuver, you know, just left, right, and see the corner. So. Yeah, I was all the way tense on the way back. He going to miss or he's going to do the right thing, you know? Yeah, he wasn't drinking any beer. And no. we maybe touched the, the bottom maybe five, six times. Yeah, but well, that's, that's, that's normal, I guess. For, for the dry season, I think. he didn't have to walk with it, you know, pushing the boat, so... Yeah, it's nice cave. So it's becoming almost a ritual here with this uh, motorcycle. Yeah, every second or third day you kind of need to stop the mechanic and check or change something. So we, we have probably we'll put on schedule, we'll make a small schedule just to... Just maintenance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're already putting it every second day oil. Today we spend uh, 6 euro yeah. for the half an hour work. I think we've tried with this wheel, we've tried many things already. We've tried the, the welding part, we've tried the aluminium part, today we're trying the the cotton one. So we've tried most of the things already with this wheel. But we stopped today not because of the wheel, because of the brake. One of the screws came out and it's all stuck around. So we had to just change half of the brake there. And uh, what we've done in the last uh, day, after visiting the Congor Cave, we stopped in Nahim for one night. Sure. Yesterday we had a really long driving day. Over 300 kilometers, a lot of uh, milestone mountains there. It's just beautiful, just because it's really flat and it's just from nowhere just coming up. with the millions of trees. I think totally there trees. will be a million, huh? I didn't count that. But... No? I was, uh, I started, but then I stopped. Here we were talking about man-made reservoir that caused death of millions of trees. It was created by Namtheum 2 Dam that flooded the Platea in 2008. Approximately 6,200 indigenous people living on the Nakai Plateau have been resettled to make the way for the reservoir. More than 100,000 people downstream who depend on these rivers for their livelihoods have been directly affected by this project. Still nowadays, there are many social and environmental issues related to the construction of the dam. Now we arrive to this big city, Savannah. We will check it quickly and we'll, see, we'll decide here on the place, I guess, or to stay for the night or just to carry on driving. Yesterday we had flat tire also, we just forgot to say. So bike is great, but sometimes it's... Uh, spend half an hour a day for fixing every day. Yeah. yeah. If you're lucky, you're close, if then you stay close to the mechanic, if not... <laughs> This sacred stupa is an important place for Laotian and Thai Buddhists and is registered as a national treasure of Laos. 
located 15 kilometers from Savanakhet. This 9 meters tall 16th century tower is believed to house Buddha's bone. A long time ago, the Lao believed that Buddha stopped here when he was sick during his wandering back in ancient times. You need to be Buddha follower, I guess. Just I know. I subscribe to Buddha channel now. Okay, you try. Can you speak English? Yes. Where yeah, did you go? We go south. We go Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia. Cambodia uh, speak French. Mm. Cambodia. Uh -huh. Hello, yeah, nice. Good for you. I speak uh, French uh, then English. Yeah, nice. Huh? Yeah. And Laos also. I am Prost. Professor. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mathematics. Mathematics. Okay. <laughs> no surprise that we have more rice fields on the way. Rice accounts for over 80% of agricultural lands in Laos. Production of rice more than doubled between 1974 and 1986. In 2017, rice output was estimated at 4.2 million tons. How much did you pay? I was 19,100. I paid 20, but I didn't think she can back for 1,000. It's like we've been on the Monkey Island. Now we are in. Monkey, monkey forest. forest, yeah. I think they need to borrow some monkeys from here to Monkey Island. It, it's a lot here. Yeah, quite a lot, and it's just like at the very corner, at the right of the village. Okay. Okay. So I just bought bananas for the monkeys. We're gonna see their reaction uh, for this delicacy. We chose the best bananas we could find here. And I think the monkeys are ready for us. Some of them are looking curiously at us. What should you say? You had one, I saw you. <laughs> you didn't have one. I was expecting only monkeys to come here, but I think it's like uh, everyone comes. The monkey with the big nipples. Yeah, I have the last three ones. Okay. Look at these guys. They, they're ready. Here. They're ready for them. <laughs> she just stole one banana. Not bad, huh? I think you had so many of them. You'll have overdose of bananas, this guy. <laughs> I think who is the most pushy here is the goat, actually. Because they're just sticking to you. She take one and she wants more. Come, come higher, come higher, come higher. <laughs> We don't want violence here, okay? <laughs> he was smiling, just... No, one, 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 one. What do you think about feeding the, the goats and uh, monkeys? It was nice. Be, I, I was expecting monkeys to be more aggressive. Yeah, they're actually nice coming they were quite in. patient and waiting. And if you're gonna be in Gibraltar, if they see a bit of food with you, it's all gone. You don't have any choices, they will take it. But here, they're quite peaceful. And the goats are amazing, yeah? Probably in a couple of years, they will just change the name of this park. It will be like a, a goat, goat forest. Too. Okay, thanks everyone. Yeah. Do you like to walk barefoot? It's great feeling, I like. 
Yeah. I'm kind of happy that uh, the lady asked us to take off the shoes. The house, the rules. We're, the, we're looking for the library now. It is nice. Yeah, great it's nice. all made of wool. So he was explaining that uh, all the all the scripts, they like just uh, they put them here. Mm. Yeah. So all this uh, pretty much books. Because the first expression was he was like trying to sell us. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the textile. I think he try, was trying to explain that they were carrying all the statues or something with this thing. Yeah. I feel like he's our guide now. Ukraina. You can. Yeah. <laughs> this impressive old library was originally built in the 17th century. It's the most important repository of palm leaf books written by Burmese Pali, Khmer and ancient Lao alphabets in Laos. The books are maintained in good conditions by monks and novices, as well as local people. There are currently 4,000 books containing 361 different stories. Approved, eh? Winner for life. <laughs> Last. Strong. Here our exploration of Savanakhet area concluded, and we are ready to move further to the south where even more surprises were waiting for us. So see you in the next video.